Today we are making one more handle. The handle is rather simple. But recently, Yulia, I will share the link to her photo tutorial with you, has proposed a very interesting handle. It has interested me a lot and I've won a tutorial on how to make this kind of a handle. Both the simplified variety of the handle I weave and the more complicated variety of the same handle overwound proposed by Yulia. Thanks a lot to her for the idea. This way the tutorial was born. We are making the idea popular. I recommend this kind of a handle to you. We do have a tutorial on a twisted handle, but this one is a bit different. The coils make kind of rolls and it looks somewhat different. Yesterday I made one handle already. Today I'm going to show you how to weave it on the example of the second handle. We will need four double tubes. My tubes are wet. So I've marked the points to place the handle with clothes pins, indent three rows and insert the tubes. Either this way if they go through or with the help of a knitter needle. So I insert the tubes through the weaving between the third and the fourth rows from the top. I have made the edge, so the handles like this are sure to be strong enough and are not going to break the weaving. Approximately like this, more or less equally. Let me repeat once again that the tubes are wet and I soften them additionally. Now you have to make sure that you keep the rows. So press the tubes tightly to each other and intercross them. Prevent the tubes from cramming across each other. It looks rather nice, at least I like the way it looks. It has occurred to me that I can make a double colored or play with colors in some other way. But I don't feel like playing with colors on uh, the simple variety of a handle. I'm going to show you my experiments on the example of a more complicated variety. So I've made six coils on the first handle, so surely the second one has to be identical to the first one. At this point, where a clothespin is, I'm going to fix the handle. One of the coils is going inside. I mark the point where the tubes have to go inside. Here I'm going to insert the tubes from the outside coil. I lead them through one by one. Try to place them in the same way in the row and keep them from coming across each other. As for this coil, we are going to lead it through from inside toward outside. Indent one pole and lead the tube through behind this pole in succession. The way of fixing the handles is identical for both varieties, so I'm not going to show it to you for the second time. Smoothen the tubes. 
That's all. The only thing left to do is uh, to tuck in and glue. We lead the tubes in the same way successively through the coil. You can do it with the help of a knitting needle, needle, but in our case I succeed without it. I still have to spread thick school glue here and here and cut the tails. Tighten the tubes. And in the same way we fix the tails from the opposite side. I do without any knitting needle as well. It is a kind of express handle, rather simple and at the same time nice looking. Got it. Now I have to glue it, cut the tails and I'll get a handle like this. Then you prime it with cool glue mixed with water and afterwards cover it with varnish. And you get a rather strong handle. So it was the first variety of plain coils. Now let's pass to the most interesting point.